What is going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how we were able to bill a client and collect from them $312 by installing three WordPress plugins. If you don't know what WordPress is, it's pretty much a drag and drop website type builder that anyone can use. Like if you can type out an email, you could probably use WordPress. So stick around. What is going on guys? Paul James here. Welcome back to the channel today. Again, we're gonna be talking about how we build that client, collected from them $312. You could do this if you can use email, you could probably use WordPress. And don't worry if you're a beginner and you've never done this kind of thing before because I'm gonna show you how. But before we get into the video, if you're excited for that, smash a like on it to let me know that you're excited for it. And also, if you're new here and you've never been to the channel before, again, my name is Paul James. This is a place where we talk business. We talk entrepreneurship, making money. So if you're into any of those things, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to drop below the video hit that subscribe button. And after you subscribe, if you want, you can comment on the video and say something like, I have subscribed. And what I'll actually do is I'll go back through, I will read your comment, and then I will reply to it, welcoming you to our YouTube family here, because I'm just so excited that you're here with us today. All right, so the reason why we're using WordPress, the reason why we're installing these three plugins are because these websites that we're gonna find are targeted by something that is really impacting them, and that is slow page load. Their website is loading slow and there's reasons why you want to fix this guys because number one it can impact the rankings there's been a google update that was released i think it was back in july that impacts these websites that if they do not load fast google will actually go and rank them lower so we're going to show you how to install these plugins it only takes a few minutes I'm gonna show you how to find business owners who have a problem that need these plugins installed, and I'm gonna share with you how to actually go out and pitch them to have you do it for them because they're too busy running their business, right? They don't have time to learn how to you, you use plugins and fix page speed issues, but you could do it, you could bill them $300. So let's go, let's hop on the computer, and let's break down exactly how this works. All right guys, so I'm really excited for this one. This is something that I really think that almost anyone can do. Not only am I gonna show you how to do it, but I'm also gonna show you how to find business owners that actually want you to perform this for them. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at three WordPress plugins that I use to improve the speed of a website. And what you can do then is you can go and approach business owners that have slow loading websites, install these plugins for them, and in our case, I mean, the example I'm gonna share with you, we collected $312 for doing this, okay? And it doesn't take very long to do, I'm gonna show you the entire process, okay? So if that sounds good to you, you're gonna to wanna to stick around. All right, so I'm gonna, in my WordPress dashboard right now, so basically if you find someone who agrees to let you do this for them, you're gonna simply ask them for their WordPress login details. And you're gonna to go to their website, it's gonna look just like this when you log in. You're gonna come under plugins, and you're gonna hit add new. And the first plugin that you're gonna install is called WP Smush It. So just do a search for that, WP Smush. Um, and it's actually this one, they changed the name of the plugin. It's called Smush Image Compression and Optimization. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna install this plugin. Now what this plugin does is when an image is on a website, it has to wait for that image to load. So what this plugin does is it basically goes and when you activate it, it goes and it compresses the images so that they load faster. They're still gonna look good quality, but they're gonna load like way, way faster, like double the speed. And that's going to improve the speed for your customer. So what it'll do after you activate that plugin is it'll put a link right here and it'll tell you how many of these, you can go through this quick setup, but it'll tell you how many of these that you need to actually go through and smush. And you can actually go on each page and I'll show you how to do like a, a speed test. But basically like if it was a homepage that was loading slow, you would just go and find the images that are on the homepage um, and, and just smush them. Let me show you how to do it. I'll show you on one, just as an example. So let's say this image was on the homepage, right? And it was loading slow. All I do is I come over to the image and I hit smush. Boom, now it's optimized. So how do you find these images? They're in WordPress, they're under media, and then you have a media library. So let's say here's an image of me. This was on my site, boom, I hit smush. It smushes the image and that's gonna speed things up. Okay, so that's super easy. So that's plugin number one. The next plugin that we're gonna go and we're gonna add is called Auto Optimize. So Auto Optimize, like Auto Optimize. This one right here, we're gonna install it. Now what this plugin does is it minifies um, 
programming language files like HTML, like CSS, like JavaScript. Um, kind of technical if you're not a programmer, so you don't really need to worry about it. But basically, you're going to want to have this plugin installed. It's going to make the code run faster on their website without you even having to do anything. Um, so I should have that installed here. I did activate it. If I go to settings, I just need to click that I want to optimize the HTML code, optimize the CSS code and the JavaScript code, just like that. And I just need to save the changes on it. And I would recommend hitting save and empty cache. So that's it for that plugin, literally that quick and the job is done. And again, stick around. I'm going to share with you how to find clients that will pay you to do this just like we've been able to collect $312 the last time we actually did this for a client. And the last plugin that we're gonna use, again, we're coming under plugins, under add new, is called W3 Total Cash. So I'll search for that. Here it is right here. Hit install now on that plugin. And then we're gonna activate it. And as soon as that loads, we'll be all done with that one. Okay, there we are. Uh, it should put it right here under performance and under general settings, you can go through there and you can enable the caching. All right, so that are that is it. Those are the three plugins that I wanted to show you. That's how you install them. Now here's how you find people to actually do this for. I'm gonna share with you how we used to do it in the past and I'm gonna share with you a way how we do it now, which is like 100 times faster and it's almost like cheating. So it's really, really cool. So what we used to do in the past is we used to have to go and do a search for a business that we'd wanna work with. Like maybe we wanna target all towing companies and we're gonna target the city Cedarburg. You just pick something randomly. So what we would do is we would go through, we would start opening up all their websites just like this. So here's a website. We grab their address, their web address up here in the search bar or in the URL bar. And then we'd go into Google, developer Google page speed insights tool. You could just do a Google search for this if you're trying to find it, but I'm gonna share with you an easier way. And we'd paste in the website that we wanted to test and we hit analyze. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna run a Google speed test on the site. And we're basically looking for people who get a really bad performance score. Now think of this like a report card that you would get from like school. We're looking for people who've got like the D's and C's and F's. We don't really want people who've got A's or B's because they're already doing pretty good. But look at this guy. This towing company has a 42. <laughs> Got it. And it's red. Red means bad. We wanna try and get this up. Can we get it up to 70? Can we get it up to 80? That'll be good. So you can see it, it actually gives a scale here. 90 to 100 is fast, 50 to 89 is average. So I mean, even if we can bump them up to somewhat in the average category, that would be really good. And I can almost guarantee that just with these three WordPress plugins, you'd be able to do that. I mean, you could come through and you can look at all the different things like right here, CSS. Well, that's something that we, we corrected with one of those plugins, right? Now, I'm gonna share with you how we've actually supercharged it. It's one of the reasons I've been away for so long because I've been working on some new stuff. One of those being um, a software that we are getting ready to open up to the public here called Speed Sniffer. So I'm gonna share with you how we do this same strategy and but how we prospect for clients really easily now. So. With Speed Sniffer, you come in and you type in what you're looking for. Maybe it is dentist in Chicago. And you select it and you hit search. And Speed Sniffer is connected to a bunch of different APIs and it's gonna go out there, it's gonna pull all businesses that are related to like this keyword dentist in Chicago and it's going to allow us to grab a prospect list. So here's a, a prospect list. We could go and we could select them all if we want or we could just select like as many as we want to start with. Let's just say, I don't know, six of them. So now we can come, it moves these over to our saved prospects tab. Okay, right here. And what we can do is we can search to see if there's any email addresses that exist for these by clicking the email button like this. And it's gonna go, it's gonna hunt, and if an email address is available, it'll open up the envelope icon like this. And it'll allow us to email this person from the software, that's how cool it is. It'll actually sync with your Gmail account so that you never have to leave the software to do any of this stuff. It'll do it right from the software. It'll also run the speed test for you. So if you hit this little squiggly icon here, what it's doing now is Speed Sniffer is going to Jeffrey P. Pfeffer, I think that's his name, <laughs> and is running a speed test on his website right now. 
and we're gonna find out if Jeffrey scores good or if he scores bad. You know, if he's got like an A on his report card or if he's got an F. All right guys, so it's done. Now I'm clicking the preview button, this little eyeball on the report and we can see here is his report. He's got a speed score of 56, not that great. Look at this dude. <laughs> and the cool part is, is that we can come down here and, oh, check this out, optimize image. They can go through, they can look at what Google recommends to do. It's got all this instructions of stuff to do. And this guy's a busy dentist. Like, is he gonna wanna go through and try to figure all this stuff out? No, he can hire us to do it for, like I said, we just billed someone $312 to do this for them recently and optimize images. I just showed you guys how to do that with that WP Smush plugin. You just go through and you click a button and boom, optimized. But dentists and business owners, they're busy, you know, trying to uh, fix cavities and uh, do cleanings. Like they don't have time to figure this stuff out, guys. And that's why they're willing to pay you to do it for them. So here's the cool part of what we can do next. We can click this button right here, this little end button, and we can force prospects to enter their contact information in order to view our report. Let me show you what that does. Let's click the preview button again. Now, before he can actually look at everything, he has to claim this report by entering his name, his email address, and his phone number, which gives us a warm lead. But if we want, we can just email it off to him right off the bat as well. So we can grab the URL here of his report, and because it's integrated right with Gmail, okay, this is super cool. We hit this little envelope button because the software went and it found his email and we can say, couldn't load your website properly. And the report is already in there for us. We could just say, hi, we tried to visit your site and it wasn't loading properly. I've attached a report to share with you what I mean. You know, something simple like that that's gonna get his attention and boom, we can send it. That integrates automatically with our email account with a click of a button and very, very cool. And now when he replies, it'll go to our Gmail. All right guys, so there you have it. That is today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, again, don't forget to smash a like on it. Don't forget to be subscribed so that you get notified of every video I release when I release it. This is a place you want to be if you want to learn about motivation, entrepreneurship, business, making money. So you don't want to miss out on my videos. Also, if you did want to check out the software that I used in this video, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's got a killer deal going on right now. We worked really hard on it. I know it's going to help you out a ton. So if this looks like something you want to actually go and work on, you definitely want to take a look at that. But anyways, guys, that is today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, we'll see you in the next video because you'll be subscribed, right? And uh, I can't wait to see you there. I am Paul James. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.